tell them to order. Uber Eats, I'm so sick of Uber Eats. Okay, they want an order of meatballs made from scratch with breadcrumbs also made from scratch, served with spaghetti and good sauce. Okay, so this is what I did. Um, the health and safety inspector is with me right now. I made the meatballs from scratch. It took a long time to chop up all the fresh vegetables. I chopped up some fresh basil. Smell that. Does it smell good, cameraman? And we're gonna add that on top. I also made some delicious breadcrumbs from scratch here. Italian breadcrumbs from scratch. Take a, take a little bite. Delicious, okay? So what we're gonna do now, I've toasted the meatballs, basically. I got them nice and seared. Turn the light on. That didn't really help. I'm gonna add this sauce. My family made it from scratch. This is carbon. Black woman in what? Stem. Thank you. Ugh! Oh, that's delicious. It's fine. The olive oil. Mm. I thought it would be too much olive oil. Instead of boiling the spaghetti, right? Because like amateurs do that. People who like cook in their apartments do that. This is restaurant take stamp pan. So we're gonna take all this spaghetti here. You wanna use fresh spaghetti, but I didn't have time for all that, I didn't. This is a quick weeknight dinner for you, your man, your kids, yourself, doesn't matter. We're gonna do this. Ready? So, black moon and stem. You're gonna... Never mind. So, did I say that? Here's what we're gonna do. put this in here in my wood fired oven. So just have it in there. We're gonna have it in cook time. Let's do it for like 15 minutes because we're hungry, all right? So I'm gonna get the pot that I put in here initially, wash it out and boil the spaghetti. Initially, that was a really good idea to bake it in there, but the dish was just too small but I will take some of the sauce, the sauce and put it in the spaghetti. Cause when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block, this is what my grandma used to do. So rinse it out like that. Okay, so then I wanna bring the water to a boil. You gotta feed your customers, right? So what we wanna do in the restaurant business is you don't wanna just drop the food off and walk away. You wanna touch the table, cause that's what we do here at Restaurante Stampe. I just went to the customer, I said, hey, how you doing? The food's been taking a really long time. I told my customer that it would be done in like 20 minutes. That was like two hours ago, cause I kept talking and talking and talking. I'm Italian, I don't know what to say. It's just in my DNA now, is I'm Italian now apparently. I'm not Puerto Rican in the Bronx. Also, here's a secret trick, which I might not do this evening. You wanna boil your pasta in a chicken broth or a chicken bouillon. Really subtle, really subtle. They taught me this in cooking school. Really subtle difference, but it just, it makes your pasta taste not next door, but pasta. All right, good, my server got to work. Where is the candle? I can't get good help around here. What is wrong with you? I should have fired you when I first, when I first hired you. Is my out? No, you're good. Barely. This is a Christian channel. So squat. Ugh. This is bad lifting technique. This is why I bought the widest guys. Gonna lift it up. Oh yeah. Look at that, all that goodness. Okay. Gonna add some fresh, some more fresh basil. You know there's plenty in the sauce. The sauce smells so good. This is Michelin. Michelin meal, so where'd the pasta go? I'm gonna put some of the pasta in here because you wanna get the sauce, right? So this is a technique I learned when I was 16 in the Bronx. If I had time, I would put this back in the oven and let it bake together, but right now we don't have time for that. Grab, place, twist. Twist in. Did 
This is what I meant to do, like a bigger twist. I'm making such a mess. Whatever. That thing they do in restaurants, mm. you know? How it looks like a circle. It's all falling. That's okay. Three. And four. The customer's been complaining too much today. You know why? Because I, I charge a 20% service charge. This, this fool comes in being like, why do you charge a service charge? And I'm like, because I'm a one woman app. Like, how do you think I'm gonna pay for healthcare? I got, I got to get, get, get that good Etna, you know, it's Florida. Adding a little bit of fresh toasted breadcrumb. Whatever. I'm gonna add a little, just for decor. Just for decor, okay? Add a little bit more of the sauce because you don't want to be too shy about the sauce, guys. You don't want to be too shy. Get all that yummy sauce. Oh, move the basil. You don't want to get it. Mm-hmm. Add the sauce. Move the basil. Move the basil. This is Parmigiano Reggiano. You check with the customer because people have all sorts of allergies nowadays. Some are legit, some are made up. This is New York. Young people got allergies to everything here. They've they been making up stuff. They're allergic to good policies, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's hard out here as a business owner. So this is the food. This is what I'm serving myself and Mr. Kelly Stamps. This is how you keep a man, guys. This is how we've been married. For how, how long have we been married for? 18 years 18 now. 18 years now. This is crazy. I'm 27, I've been married for 18 years. Is it illegal? When you come to the customer, you always address the lady first. There's a beautiful lady sitting right here. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh shit, that's not your gender. Excuse me, that you're too difficult. What's going wrong? Oh, look at I really did that. You did that. Like, now it's a video. Don't forget the law and order. This is important.